Welcome to the Virtuous Woman of Today podcast. I'm your host, Diana Bryan. Here, we uncover what it takes to become the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 in our generation. We discuss the tools and the puzzle pieces to get there. The virtuous woman is not a myth, and you can be her too. You were called and are destined to be the virtuous woman of today. Are you ready? Welcome, my beautiful ladies, to another episode of the podcast, The Virtuous Woman of Today. I'm your host, Diana Bryant, and today I'm going to be sharing with you six steps that are going to help you achieve your goals and your dreams in life. And today I want to talk about all these goals and all these difficult moments that we go through when we want to achieve these goals. And it's something that I have experienced in my own life. I have had those moments of feeling unmotivated, feeling depressed, anxious, and feeling uh, completely lost and not knowing how to, how to achieve certain things in life. And that's why today I wanted to share with you what has helped me in the past achieve those goals, those practical steps that can help you achieve things. But I want to remind you something, and is that you have the best cheerleader in your life. And that is the Holy Spirit. The, the Holy Spirit is always there encouraging you and giving you the strength that you need to accomplish everything the Lord is calling you to do. And I want to share with you a scripture that it always helps me and it reminds me how the Holy Spirit is there cheering up for me. And it's in Isaiah 41.10, it says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What a beautiful scripture to remind us that the Holy Spirit and God's power live in us and is motivating us, encouraging us, and cheerleading us to accomplish everything he is calling us to do. So today I want to share with you those six steps that if you follow them, are going to help you stay focused, are going to help you stay encouraged to, to accomplish everything the Lord is calling you to do. So the first step is to maintain the spirit well fed. It is so important for you to spend that quality time with the Lord, whether it's in the morning, during the day, at night time, but spend a quality time growing spiritually. The more you learn the word of God, the more you read it, the more you're going to be inspired, the more you're going to have wisdom to accomplish whatever it is that you need to accomplish. And the most important thing, the more you're going to find the steps that the Lord wants to give you to achieve that goal or that dream that you want to achieve. So make sure you keep your spirit well fed. The second thing you need to do or the second step is to find help. So if you are struggling with something, if you don't know how to do something, find help. Find somebody who has gotten there, who has done it already, and that they know the steps to get there and ask them. Find out how they did it so you can do it yourself. I guarantee when you reach out to people that have done it already, they feel honored with the fact that you're asking, how did you get where you are is a place where I want to be. So make sure you find people that can help you. And if you don't have anybody around, just go to YouTube. In YouTube, you have thousands of videos there that will teach you the how to do things. So I'm going to give you a simple example. If you want to organize your house, you just type in on Google how to organize my house in a simple way, and you will find tons of videos that will teach you how to do it. And then you just find the help and you just follow those steps and you will be able to accomplish what you need to accomplish. The third step is to keep your goals and your vision in front of you. Make sure you're always reviewing it. Make sure it's always in front of you, whether you write it down or you put an image that will remind you of that goal, that dream that you want to accomplish. The more you look or you read about your dreams, the more they're going to be present in your life and the more you're going to feel encouraged to accomplish whatever it is that you're setting your mind to. So make sure you maintain those dreams, those goals in front of you in a place where you can see it every day. The fourth step you need to take is to maintain your body strong. It is so important that you exercise. It's so important that you eat healthy, that you sleep well, that you drink water because in a strong body equals a strong mind. 
the more you, you have your body in good shape, the more your mind is going to be in good shape and it's going to help you accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish because you need to have both strength. You need to have the physical strength and the mind strength because remember, the Holy Spirit is already cheering up for you. So in one hand, you have him cheering you up and giving you the spiritual strength, but you also need to do your natural part. So you have your physical strength as well. So make sure you're honoring your body, make sure you're giving it everything it needs to be strong so it can help your mind being strong. And that's an amazing way to be able to achieve your goals. Step number five is to find inspiration in others. This is different from finding help. Help is somebody that has arrived there and they will show you the how to get there. Inspiration is more like somebody that has gotten there and you may not be able to reach out to this person because they're big or they're far or you don't know them, but they inspire you. Going back to the example of cleaning your house, if you find somebody, let's say on Instagram, that you love how their house looks and it's always neat, it's always organized, then get inspired by that to do your house the same way, to keep it clean, to keep it organized. And that's when you go to YouTube and you find out how to organize my house, how to simplify it, whatever it is. And that person that you probably cannot get in touch with has inspired you to be able to accomplish what you want to do in your life. So uh, it can be somebody who probably is athletic and that's your goal. That's where you want to be or then be inspired by that person. But it's important that we find inspiration in other people. Sometimes we find inspiration in nature. Whatever it is that inspired you, make sure it is surrounding you and is present in your life. Now, this last step, it's so important and it's one of my favorites. And it is to imagine yourself, how would you feel in one year if you have accomplished that goal or that dream in your life? How different your life would be? This is the number one encourager, I would say, out of the steps that I have given you, aside from maintaining your spirit in good health, um, and is to imagine yourself, how would you feel, what would you be doing in a year if you keep up with whatever it is you want to accomplish, whether it's your health, whatever goal you have set up for yourself, how are you going to feel in one year? How is it going to impact your life? So think about it, write it somewhere and allow it to serve you as motivation and inspiration and encouragement uh, in a physical way to be able to accomplish it. Because remember, the Holy Spirit is already cheering you up, but you need to do your natural part as well. So make sure you imagine yourself and you ask yourself, how amazing my life will be in one year if I keep up with this and I actually accomplish the dream or the goal that I want to accomplish. So my ladies, I always on this podcast share with you things that have worked for me, those tools that I have incorporated that the Lord has given me to become the virtuous woman that I'm aiming to become. And the more I apply these steps on those days that I'm um, discouraged or I'm focused or that I want to quit, when I go and revisit whichever step I need to revisit and do it again, it helps me accomplish the goal that I want to accomplish. It helps me go back and be in focus and have the courage that I need to achieve whatever it is that God is calling me to do. So always remember these steps, put them somewhere where you can see them and revisit them. Every time you feel discouraged, see which one of them. Maybe you need to, um, you know, feed your spirit a little bit more or you need to find more strength or give more strength to your body or maybe you need help in some area. Whatever it is, revisit those steps and I guarantee you're going to feel encouraged and you're going to have everything you need to accomplish the goals you are setting your mind to accomplish. So at the end of every episode, I love leaving you with something to take action on or something to reflect. And this week, I'm going to ask you to take action. I want you to read again or listen to it again, those six steps, write them down and pick one that you want to take action this week and work towards it. If you need help, if you need um, to feed your spirit a little bit more, 
then circle that one and start working on that one and focus on one step at a time. And you're going to see how you're going to be able to achieve those goals and those dreams that are in your heart. Now, if you were blessed by this episode, I ask that you please share it with somebody else. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to this podcast, whether on YouTube or on the podcast platform that you're listening to us to. And make sure you share it because it's the best way to spread the love and also leave me a comment letting me know which one of these steps you're going to be taking. I would love to pray for you. I would love to help you, cheer you up and believing with you that you will be able to accomplish that dream that you have in your heart. And always remember that you are the virtuous woman of today and that you were created to become everything the Lord has called you to be. I'll see you next week.